Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bul Fatih. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Safriya Palace the Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, Aslam Khalaf. The Minister presented to His Majesty the National Food Production Strategy, which follows the Royal Initiative that aims to develop the national capabilities in the field of food industry and raising local production, as well as including professionals in this field to contribute to the success of the project. His Majesty directed to approve the Ministry's projects provided with allocated lands and establish a government company in this regard. His Majesty also directed to invest in Ras Hayan in the field of fish farming. His Majesty expressed thanks and appreciation to the Minister and the Ministry staff for their valuable efforts in serving citizens. He also expressed appreciation to the people who are working in the field of farming, marine resources and production and stressed his keenness to communicate with them personally. His Majesty also expressed appreciation to the Kingdom ancestors who worked faithfully to serve the kingdom. The minister pointed out that the aim of this project is to adopt advanced farming methods as well as encourage the youth to work in this field and adopt innovative techniques for a sustainable production. He praised His Majesty's contributions and supervisions over these projects. The minister added that the soil agricultural projects will contribute to increasing domestic production of vegetables by 20 percent while the contribution to self-sufficient in the fish will constitute 61%. His Majesty the King's representative for charity work and youth affairs, national security advisor and chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the newly appointed Kuwaiti ambassador to Bahrain, Sheikh Damar Jabal Ahmed Al Sabah. His Highness Sheikh Nasser welcomed the envoy and wished him every success in carrying out his diplomatic duties so as to further strengthen and deepen bilateral relations for the common interests of the two bradley countries. Ambassador Sheikh Damar Jabal expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Nasser for his keenness to enhance relations between the two Bradley countries and their peoples in various fields, especially the youth and sports sector. His Highness Sheikh Nasser discussed with the Kuwaiti ambassador ways to bolster joint cooperation in the sports and youth fields through the exchange of visits of the two sectors' affiliates to boost the youth and sports movement in the two countries. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa also received the advisor to His Majesty the King for Youth and Sports Affairs and President of Bahrain Athletics Pioneers Association, Saleh bin Isa bin Hindi al Mannai, who presented to His Highness the members of the association. His Highness Sheikh Nasser affirmed that Bahrain Athletic Pioneers Association includes experienced athletes, administrators, and media personnel, noting that this experience should be reflected on future generations. His Highness stated that the association should make Make further sports goals in various fields, qualifying national caterers in the sports field and contributing to making further sports achievements. He noted that the association will encourage and support scientific studies to develop the sports movement in the kingdom. His Highness Sheikh Nasser listened to a briefing on the committee's role in developing the sports movement in Bahrain, hailing the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to the sports and youth movement, which resulted in Bahraini sports achieving in international results. The advisor to His Majesty the King for Youth and Sports Affairs commended the leading role of His Highness Sheikh Nasser and his keenness on providing all kinds of support which will be positively reflected on the association's role towards athletes. 
His Majesty the King's representative for charity work and youth affairs, national security advisor and chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received Captain Yaqub Yusuf of the Ministry of Interior, who, carry out, who carried out a special humanitarian act by visiting a child in Peru. A video of Captain Yaqub spread across social media platforms where a child was carrying a book in one of the streets of the country in preparation for upcoming exams. The boy was found sitting under a lamp because there was no electricity in his house, which prompted Captain Yaqub to build a home for the child and buy various equipments for the boy's school. His Highness said and expressed appreciation for, the, for Captain Yaqub's humanitarian act in Peru, which he said reflects as positive image of the Kingdom of Bahrain under the rule of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He said that His Majesty is the first source of inspiration for the humanitarian acts carried out by citizens through various royal initiatives in this field. His Highness explained that this humanitarian act has many positive effects that inspire Bahrainis to follow his example and said that it represents one of the noblest of humanitarian acts that should be followed by others. His Highness was briefed of Captain Yaqub's tour in Peru and his story with the boy, who also held various festivities for the and and his area, where photos of His Majesty the King was raised in celebration of Inauguration Day. His Highness received the keys to the Peruvian city, which the President of Peru gifted to Captain Yaqub, along with a badge as well as a special gift for His Highness Sheikh Nasser. For his part, Captain Yaqub expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Nasser for his generous support and for carrying out many humanitarian projects that have helped several families. He added that His Highness's example represents a humanitarian role model for many in the kingdom and beyond. The Council of Representatives held its weekly meeting presided over by its speaker, Fawziya bin Abdullah Zainal. Zainal congratulated His Majesty the King on the anniversary of the National Action Charter and expressed thanks and appreciation to the people of Bahrain who contributed in drafting it, which expressed the national will of the Bahraini people. Following the session, the Secretary General of the Council, Chancellor Rashid Bunajma, issued a statement on the letters received from the Shura Council Chairman on what it reached regarding a draft draft law on unemployment insurance and urban planning. The Council reviewed the responses of, ministry to, of the ministers to parliamentary questions on the reasons for renting the current headquarters of the General Authority of the Social Insurance Organization, Insurance Funds and the Bahrain Metro Project. The Council also discussed a draft law issuing the Marine Law. The Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Hosea bint Abdullah Zainal, praised the fiscal results that have been achieved in 2019 when compared to 2018 thanks to the efforts of the executive and legislative authorities and the cooperation between them. Zainal said that these efforts have prioritized the interests of the country and the citizens in order to achieve the objectives of comprehensive development under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. She expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness as the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa for his efforts which played a main role in realizing these achievements. She affirmed commitment to executing all of the initiatives of the Fiscal Balance Program and praised the positive results that the Minister of Finance and National Economy detailed during his meeting with the Committee of the Shura and Representatives Councils. The chairman of the Shura Council, Ali al Saleh al Saleh, also affirmed that the keenness and ongoing follow up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Spring Commander, and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad al Khalifa, have played a key role in the fiscal results that have been achieved. He said that the policies that have resulted in the positive fiscal results are intended at improving the performance of the national economy, that they represent a source of pride and are a part of the comprehensive development plan that the Kingdom of Bahrain is experiencing under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He expressed appreciation for the efforts of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince to develop the economy, diversity, and diversify its sources of income, and proceed forward with the economic vision of 2030. Al Salah added that the economic performance of the kingdom has shown a decrease in public spending as a result of cooperation between the legislative and executive authorities. He concluded by praising the efforts of the Minister of Finance and National 
national economy in briefing the Shura and Representatives Councils on the details of the fiscal performance of the government. Deputy Prime Minister and Chairman of the Ministerial Committee of Development and Infrastructure Projects, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, opened a new walking track in Psaitin, coinciding with the National Sports Day and in the attendance of the Minister of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning, Assam Khalaf, and the Minister of Electricity and Water Affairs, Wa'il Limbarak, along with various officials, members of the Muharraq Municipal Council, invitees, and members of the public. The project is among those that are being carried out by the Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, Deputy Premier said that Sports Day is a great opportunity to remind the public of the importance of sports and its positive effects on health as well as on society at large and affirmed the importance of offering citizens with the safe infrastructure to encourage them to engage with sports. He said that this field is fully supported by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa among, along with His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He added that the Cabinet's decision to dedicate half of a working day for employees and government institutions to participate to adopt healthy lifestyles. His Deputy Premier affirmed the government's commitment to offering every means of support to promote healthy lifestyle, which it regards as one of the pillars of the comprehensive development policies of Bahrain under the leadership of His Majesty the King. He expressed gratitude for his Majesty the King's representative for charity work and youth affairs, National Security Advisor and Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, as well as First Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Athletics Association, and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, for their keen interest and support in the field of youth and sports. Deputy Premier said that the walking track is a result of the royal directives of His Majesty the King in the opening ceremony of the second session of the fifth legislative term of the Shura and Representatives Councils. He also praised the efforts of the Ministry of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning for developing the coast between and based on strategies that involve renewable energy, which in the case of the Psaitin Coast involved 80 fitness equipment along with service and recreational facilities. For his part, the Minister Assam Khalaf affirmed the commitment of the Ministry, thanks to the support of the government, to developing the coasts and their facilities to to meet the needs of the citizens as per the government plan and vision of 2030. He added that a walking track project is a result of the directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and that the minister was keen on cooperating with the Muharraq Municipal Council to carry it out. The minister also expressed thanks to the Deputy Premier for his keen interest and support for the work of the ministry. He added that in addition to the walking tracks in Psaitin, Ma'amir, Galali and Samahij, more will be built in Zinj and Zaid town. The Ministry of Education organized a number of sports, health and national activities on the occasion of Bahrain Sports Day with the participation of officials and thousands of students. Minister Dr. Majid Naimi praised the decision to allocate half a working day to exercise and do sporting activities in order to encourage individuals to adopt a healthy lifestyle. He praised the role of the representatives of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor and President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa for holding such initiatives. The minister affirmed the ministry's keenness to improve sporting activities in schools and home student skills in various sports. The ministry's affiliates expressed pleasure to be part of this initiative for its significant advantages. The President of the Sustainable Energy Authority, Dr. Abdul Hussein Mirza, held activities on the occasion of Bahrain Sports Day at Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika Park in Awali. Dr. Mirza praised this initiative and stressed its importance in raising awareness regarding adopting a healthy lifestyle. He also praised the directors of His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa to allocate half a working day to exercise in which it will lead to enhancing productivity. 
Finance and National Economy Minister Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa affirmed that the development goals and accomplishments achieved for Bahrain are due to the high aspirations and visions of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He also noted the efforts exerted by Team Bahrain, who made the interests of the country and citizens a priority and worked towards that, that resulted in achieving many accomplishments at all levels. The minister cited that the government, headed by His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa has demonstrated their care and keenness through their continuous follow-up on all development initiatives and plans. Sheikh Salman announced an estimated reduction in the budget deficit of 24%, falling from 6.3% of GDP in 2018 to 4.7% of GDP in 2019. Non-oil revenues increased 63% year on year whilst government spending decreased 3% year on year. The kingdom's primary budget deficit excluding interest payments fell 85% year on year. During a meeting with members of the Financial and Economic Committee of the Shura and Representatives Councils along with Parliament Affairs Minister Ghanib bin Fadl al bainin the Finance and National Economy Minister underlined the vital role that the legislature has played in achieving these results through continuous positive cooperation between the executive and legislative sort of branches. In implementation of the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, said Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Ministry of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, in cooperation with the Representatives Council, continues to implement a set of service-oriented development projects to improve services for citizens. The projects shall contribute to achieving the goals of the comprehensive development process led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, Engineer Assam bin Abdullah Khalaf, and a number of the Representatives Council, Mohammed Al Bainin, along with Chairman of the Southern Municipal Council, Bedr Tamimi, visited the city of Khalifa, Askar District, Block 950, in order to inspect the region's needs of service projects, including the construction of a park, aside from infrastructure projects, including sanitation and road maintenance projects. In the presence of the Minister of Information Affairs, Ali bin Mohammed al Ramehi, the Ministry organized the Bahrain Sports Day activities with the participation of the Ministry's directorates and employees. The Sports Day event included many sports activities such as football championships, basketball championships, a tug of war competitions, a 100 meter running race, and many others. It also included the necessary medical examinations to measure blood pressure and sugar, in addition to honoring the Ministry's accomplished employees and those who participated in local and international championships. On the occasion, the minister hailed the initiative of His Majesty the King's representative for charity work and youth affairs, national security advisor and chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to allocate a national sports day and a half a working day for sports activities, expressing pleasure with the ministry's employees' active participation in the events. The Ministry of Labour and Social Development organized a number of sports activities and programs as part of its keenness to provide an opportunity for all its employees to participate in the programs of Bahrain Sports Day. A number of ministry officials and employees participated in walking marathon competitions and various sports activities in addition to conducting free medical examinations and holding traditional performances and awareness lectures in line with the goals of this sporting initiative which aims at raising the level of health and promoting sports. The Ministry of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning and Urban Affairs also held the sporting activities at the Water Garden following the decision of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister to allocate half a working day for sporting activities. He also praised this initiative which follows the directives of His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa that aims to raise awareness regarding the importance of sports as well as adopting sports as a healthy lifestyle.